2 times 2 times 2 times 2 can be written conveniently as 2 to the little 4, as you see here. And this is said to be 2 to the power of 4, or the fourth power of 2. So when we see this, we know that's referred to as the index. So when we see 2 to the 4, we know we can write this out as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, because this 4 here is an indication of how many 2s we can write down and put multiplication signs between. So 2 to the 4 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which when you multiply them all together is 16. So 4 to the 3 is 4 times 4 times 4. 5 to the 4 is 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. 7 to the 2 is 7 times 7. So this little 3, called the index, next to this 4, tells us that we have three lots of 4, as you can see here. This index of 4 here, next to the 5, tells us we have four lots of 5, as you can see here. This index of 2, next to the 7, tells us we have two lots of 7, as you can see here. A number raised to the power of 2, e.g. 5 to the 2, is referred to as the square of 5, i.e. 5 is said to be squared. A number raised to the power of 3, e.g. 4 to the 3, is said to be cubed. Therefore, this example is 4 cubed. If we look at this example, we can see the index is 2, so that's 5 squared, which is 5 times 5, which clearly equals 25. So 5 squared is 25. If we look at this example, we can see the index is 3. Now that is 4 cubed, which is 4 times 4 times 4, which clearly, when all multiplied together, equals 64. So 4 cubed is 64. Let's have a go at answering these four examples. Let's have a go at the first one, and we can see 9 is multiplied together a number of times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 nines. So we write that as 9 to the power of 6, where the 6 is in the index position. So this is 9 times 9 times 9 times 9 times 9 times 9 in its index form, i.e. 9 to the 6. Why the 6? Because there are 6 9s all multiplied together. Let's have a go at the second one. Evaluate the square of 8. Now the square of 8 is 8 to the index of 2, which is equal to 8 times 8, which is therefore equal to 64. So when you see the square of something, you know you're taking that something and putting an index of 2 there. And in this case, it's the square of 8. So this is the index, this is the 8. We get 8 times 8 equals 64. Let's have a go at the third example. Write 7 to the 3 as the product of 7s. So 7 to the 3 is 7 to the index of 3, which is 7 times 7 times 7, which is 3, 4, 3. But the one I've just put the circle around is the answer, i.e. 7 times 7 times 7. Because the question is asking, write 7 to the 3 as a product of 7s. And this here is clearly the product of 7s. And what we've been dealing with here is obviously 7 cubed. The fourth question says, write in index form the cube of 4. Well, that's simple. It's this here. It's 4 to the power of 3. That's what we mean by the cube of 4. And this is in index form. Check out the supporting website for these videos and also consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and get an automatic update every time I upload a new video. Also consider subscribing to the Google Plus Circle that relates to these videos.